Thank you for joining me today. This is Whitney with the Yoga Art Space Studio. And today's meditation is a meditation on the manifestation energy. Oftentimes, we're taught to continue to raise our energy up the spine. We're taught to continue to work in the direction of root chakra to crown chakra. That can be an extremely powerful way to work with the energy systems of the body. However, it's not the only way. And sometimes if we only work in that direction, we leave ourselves feeling ungrounded. We bring our energy out into the, to the cosmos, to that spirit of oneness with everything. But if we don't know how to bring that energy back down into the body and into the physical world, what use does it become? What can we take with us from the cosmos if we don't have a way to bring it back down? And that way, the lessons that we learn up there can become our living reality. We can learn to manifest in this world, whether that's manifestation of jobs and physical objects, or whether that's manifestation of a new way of living. And so we begin in a comfortable seated meditative spot. The posture is tall, the breath flows freely. Take a few breaths in and out. And invite yourself to start where you oft time, oftentimes wish to go in a meditation. Start by feeling connected. Feel like you are a piece of everything. Feel light. Feel powerful. Feel present. Imagine your experience was as if your veins could fill the very electricity in the walls. And you could hear the heartbeats and feel the emotions of every creature. It would be overwhelming to this physical plane, but when you're in that crown chakra, all of it is possible. You can experience more than this brain is capable of on its own. And so even with just a few moments of this high vibrational feeling, we allow ourselves to start developing the tools to take that energy down, down into the root, where some of this oneness, this love, can become our physical reality. And so the tool we'll use today to help this direction start to flow is that we imagine all the sensations, all the feelings, the omnipotence, of the crown chakra and we begin to condense this into tiny little drops of rain it's misting you lightly from the crown chakra and it's as if you feel little tingles across the scalp as these little bits of cosmic information are gently caressing the very crown of the head take a deep breath in and out. Allow this cosmic mist to start to trickle down, down the head, trickling down the third eye. And it's almost like those tingly sensations begin to travel down into this chakra. And you feel just a little bit more real. The tingles become just a little bit more tangible, less of an idea, more of an actual sensation. And this mist continues to drip all the way down the face, running down the throat. And at the throat chakra, you take a big, Smell in and exhale. 
exhale. <sighs> Sensing the beauty of this mist. The mist becoming more of a tangible thing because we can smell it. As it runs into our mouth, we can taste it. Our sensations are running, becoming real. So that oneness becomes just a bit more tangible. And we continue to allow this mist to travel down to the heart. And all those sensations, that bigness that we were before, we begin to let it run into the heart. And in the heart space, it's big enough for all. Giving away love to one does not mean you have any less love to give to yourself or to others. Caring does not mean giving it away means that it's still there. There's still more to give does not mean it's gone. And so begin to think of someone or something. The cosmos is wanting you to have attention toward. If you can trickle these sensations down into true love, what one or two people or animals this love go toward. And this mist continues to run down to the solar plexus chakra where you feel empowered. You feel like this love is true. And that there is one step you can take. Not having to worry about all the millions of other steps it'll take to become that one, that oneness, that entity, that largeness, but just thinking of the one step you can do to make your day or somebody else's day just a bit lighter than it was previously. And continuing to trickle the mist down, down into the solar plexus down into the sacral chakra and here at the sacrum you feel your passions you feel the things that you love to do in life and you realize that that goal you wish to do from the solar plexus chakra doesn't only have to be done one way you have unique talents and gifts and there's many ways to accomplish an end. So you begin to get excited about taking that one step. And the mist continues to trickle down, down into the root chakra, down where reality happens, down to the commitment Today, I will do that one step, thinking of when that will take place. Is it a phone call to do right now? A plate of cookies to bake this evening? A simple text to send? These simple steps add up in the end. We feel the whole trail of the mist all the way down to this one action. We feel the passion. We feel the love. We sense that this is making us feel lighter in our life. Like our day had a little bit more purpose, a little bit more meaning. And in that way, we took one step closer today toward becoming one with all realizing the goals of the crown chakra and so whatever our action is we commit to taking that step forward now I thank you for joining me this is Whitney with the yoga art space studio may we continue to be filled with light 
and happiness and peace. Namaste.